Hey, MCE crew. Today we're going to talk about why you need to be very careful to prevent yourself from falling into government's trap of advocating for and promoting taxation on a certain socioeconomic group. Okay, we're going to get into that. But first, let me say this. Our government here in the United States of America excels at two things. And this is very unfortunate. Uh, and this is a development that has occurred uh, gradually over the 230 some odd years we've been in business here as America. This government excels at violence, okay? Uh, we do very well in terms of uh, racking up body counts around the world and here at home also in certain cases. I'll let you uh, do your research on that. And then the other thing that the government really has gotten into of late is creating division against its own people, against us, the American citizen. Now, I resist that. I do not care who you sleep with. I do not care what color you are. Uh, I don't care about any of that. I don't care what uh, gender you are, how old you are. I judge by character. And there are actually some uh, forces out there trying to tell you that judging uh, individuals by their character is somehow a Euro Eurocentric and it's playing into some sort of nefarious uh, colonization type of mindset. It's all garbage, okay? So I am not going to fall into this mode of thinking where I allow this government to divide me from my fellow American. They've even started saying that there's another camp that we've split down the lines on, and it's the medicated or the inoculated and the uninoculated. You've got the leader of the free world, the president of the United States, actually using language like, this is a crisis of, the, of those who have not gotten this particular medication. Notice how the government doesn't try to actually sell anything by convincing you of the merits of certain things. Notice it's all coercion, force, dictate. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to just have that as a framework as we get into this conversation about taxation because this is another uh, line of division that they have uh, really, you know, hold on one sec. Okay, this is another line of division that they've really developed and uh, they've been pushing this one forever. The evil rich people, okay? So they throw out names like Jeff Bezos and um, Elon Musk. Those are the ones you should focus on because their wealth is so far beyond what the average American can even fathom, okay? So what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to get upset as we toil here in our workaday worlds and uh, they, we imagine them flying around in, you know, their private jets. Listen, I just got a package delivered um, yesterday from Amazon. And God have mercy, my wife gets them almost every day. Bezos has provided a service that heretofore did not exist. I ain't mad at him, okay? Uh, Musk, same thing. People are very enthusiastic about that uh, product over at Tesla. And a bunch of people that you've never heard of are providing not only value, but also jobs, okay? And I'm not knocking hustles out here. I'm not mad at that. So what you've got is a government that what they're doing is they're demonizing a certain socioeconomic class. Today, it's the billionaires. Noticed, Bernie Sanders used to always criticize millionaires and billionaires, until he became a millionaire, and he doesn't talk about millionaires anymore, he's just billionaires. Okay, now they're the evil people, of course, because now he's rich. Isn't this, isn't this country incredible? Isn't this a great country to be in where an avowed socialist be, can become a millionaire? Why didn't he donate his money to a socialistic cause? Who knows? Anyway, you've got Janet Yellen out there. Um, she is looks like she's going to get her way on this uh, unrealized capital gains tax. We did a video on it. And basically, it's a tax where you don't even see the money and you're getting taxed on it. And so if you don't have the money, 
you're going to have to liquidate the asset. And if you liquidate the asset, of course, there's going to be even more taxation. OK, so this is like a little uh, La Cosa Nostra type scheme that these guys have going on. Remember, in the early days of the mob, they used to go around to the stores and say, hey, we'll protect you. And the storekeeper's like, protect me from what? <laughs> but, you know, this is even more insidious than the mob because they're not the government. Not, they're not even offering anything. OK, not even protection. All right. They're just saying. Give me the loot, basically. OK, here's a headline. How the billionaires income tax would work again. Billionaires, billionaires. Focus on that for a minute because it's very important. Senator Ron Wyden releases details of a plan to impose multi-billion dollar tax bills on people such as Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Again, focusing you on two specific names. Look at them. Look at how rich they are. It's not fair. OK, even though, you know, you um, are probably getting packages from uh, uh, Amazon on a regular basis. Uh, so you are uh, definitely, your life has been made easier. Shouldn't someone profit if they bring value to the world? I think so. And who the hell are these senators to try and define how much money someone should have? Politicians are a weird bunch of people. I used to think that when someone said they were going to go into politics, I'm going to go down to Annapolis or to D.C. and I'm going to straighten things out. Uh, when I was young and naive in my 20s, I thought that that, you know, may result in something. Now, when I hear people say they want to be a politician, I lump them in the same category as like a uh, televangelist. OK, it's just a hustle. Um, if we uh, keep relying on politicians to solve problems, they're down there creating problems. They're not solving anything. So when you think about what's going on, also, I want you to keep in mind this very important statistic. OK, now the wealth of the richest Americans is about thirty five trillion dollars. All right. The middle class represents roughly thirty six point nine trillion dollars. So if they're coming after the pot of wealth that is lower than what the middle class as a collective has, what does that tell you? That tells you that right now they're using the term billionaire as a Trojan horse to get in, get the camel's nose under the tent, so to speak, so that they can start taxing you, the middle class. You think this unrealized capital gains tax is going to remain? Not only are they going to try something like that at the millionaire level next. OK, it's billionaires now. It'll be millionaires and then it'll be you. OK, and all the while, a lot of people in the middle class would have championed this. So by the time it gets down to the, you know, person making seventy thousand dollars a year, the media won't even report it. They're complicit anyway, uh, most of them with whatever the government wants to do. So they won't even report it at that point. They're just getting you amped up so that you can get behind these uh, senators and the president and the Congress in terms of uh, pushing this on one group, you know, divide and conquer, and then making it easier for them to come after the larger pot of money, which is represented by you in the middle class. And this is going to be a detriment to your wealth, uh, wealth creation ability, your ability to achieve financial independence. And these guys, uh, they don't care about that because they want to move the middle class to a dependent class in the first place. So uh, do not, or I should say, resist the urge to play into this whole uh, divide and conquer, uh, divide and conquer uh, division tactic that the government is so adept at advancing them along with the media. OK, and when I say media, I'm talking about the news media. I'm talking about uh, Hollywood. OK, this is why I do not watch the news and I watch no uh, Hollywood productions. I'm, I'm watching 50 year old episodes of Star Trek. OK, because entertainment is programming uh, these days. And for some who may be just joining this channel, I might sound conspiratorial. So be it. All right. The proof is in the pudding. The government is out there spending money it does not have. And pretty soon it's going to turn its sights on you. And this audience is the one where we try to look at what's going on and, uh, you know, avoid taxation legally and create wealth over time. 
All right, so this is all I have for you right now, guys. Pay attention to this issue. It's very important, okay? Taxation, in a lot of ways, is theft. Now, look, I'm not one of these guys who believes we shouldn't pay any taxes. Taxes, they go to pay for these roads, enable commerce, okay? And I'm all for that. Back in the Roman times, they had uh, Appia Via, or the Appian Way, which still exists, uh, which was a roadway that, again, enabled commerce. You've got sewer, water, and some military. I'm not saying we should have all these far-flung bases all over the world because um, we've got, uh, last count, 800 different bases throughout the world. Do we need that many? That's an empire. That's not a country, okay? If we stop spending frivolously, then we would be able to have a lower taxation uh, model here in this country and allow people to keep more of their wealth. All right, guys, I've gone on long enough. I will talk to you soon.